The Petronas Towers, also known as the Petronas Twin Towers or KLCC Twin Towers, Malay, Nanara Burkambar Petronas, are 88-story supertile skyscrapers in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, standing at 451.9 meters, 1,483 feet. From 1998 to 2004, they were officially designated as the tallest buildings in the world until they were surpassed by the 2005 completion of the Taipei 101. The Petronas Towers are the world's tallest twin skyscrapers and remained as the tallest buildings in Malaysia until 2022, when they were surpassed by the Murtaka 118. The Petronas Towers are a major landmark of Kuala Lumpur, along with the nearby Kuala Lumpur Tower and Murtaka 118, and are visible in many places across the city. History and Architecture The Petronas Tower's structural system is a tube-in-tube -tube design, invented by architect Vazlor Rahman Khan. Applying a tube structure for extreme tall buildings is a common phenomenon. The 88-floor towers are constructed largely of reinforced concrete, with a steel and glass facade designed to resemble motifs found in Islamic art, a reflection of Malaysia's Muslim religion. Another Islamic influence on the design is that the cross-section of the towers is based on a rub el hizb albeit with circular sectors added to meet office space requirements. The circular sectors are similar to the bottom part of the Kutub Minar. Development of the Petronas Towers Tower 1 Level 43 Floor Plan from a Rub El Hizb Symbol The cross-section of the Petronas Towers is based on a Rub El Hizb, albeit with circular sectors similar to the bottom part of the Kutub Minar. The towers were designed by Argentine-American architect Cesar Pelli. A distinctive postmodern style was chosen to create a 21st century icon for Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Planning on the Petronas Tower started on January 1, 1992 and included rigorous tests and simulations of wind and structural loads on the design. Seven years of construction followed at the former site of the original Solongor Turf Club, beginning on March 1, 1993 with excavation, which involved moving 500 truckloads of earth every night to dig down 30 meters, 98 feet, below the surface. The construction of the superstructure commenced on April 1, 1994. Interiors with furniture were completed on January 1, 1996. The spires of Tower 1 and Tower 2 were completed on March 1, 1996, three years after its construction was started, and the first batch of Petronas personnel moved into the building on January 1, 1997. The building was officially opened by the Prime Minister of Malaysia, Tun Drive, Mahathir bin Mohammed, on August 31, 1999. The Twin Towers were built on the site of Kuala Lumpur's race track. It was the tallest structure in Malaysia at the time of its completion. Test boreholes found that the original construction site effectively sat on the edge of a cliff. One half of the site was decayed limestone while the other half was soft rock. The entire site was moved 61 meters, 200 feet, to allow the buildings to sit entirely on the soft rock. Because of the depth of the bedrock, the buildings were built on the world's deepest foundations. 104 concrete piles, ranging from 60 to 114 meters, 197 to 374 feet deep, were bored into the ground. The concrete raft foundation, comprising 13,200 cubic meters, 470,000 cubic feet, of concrete was continuously poured through a period of 54 hours for each tower.
The raft is 4.6 meters, 15 feet, thick, weighs 32,500 tons, 35,800 tons, and held the world record for the largest concrete pour until 2007. The foundations were completed within 12 months by Bachi Salih Tanch and required massive amounts of concrete. As a result of the Malaysian government specifying that the buildings be completed in six years, two construction consortia were hired to meet the deadline, one for each tower. Tower 1, the West Tower, left in the top right photograph, was built by a Japanese consortium led by the Hazama Corporation, Ja Jones Construction Company, MMC Engineering Services SDN BHD, Hohup Construction Company. BHD and Mitsubishi Corp., while Tower 2, the East Tower, right in the top right photograph, was built by a South Korean consortium led by the Samsung Camp Corporation, Kukdong Engineering and Construction and Sirikat Jasadara SDN BHD. Early into construction a batch of concrete failed a routine strength test causing construction to come to a complete halt. All the completed floors were tested but it was found that only one had used a bad batch and it was demolished. As a result of the concrete failure, each new batch was tested before being poured. The halt in construction had cost 700,000 US dollars per day and led to three separate concrete plants being set up on the site to ensure that if one produced a bad batch, the other two could continue to supply concrete. The Skybridge contract was completed by Kukdong Engineering and Construction. Tower 2, Samsung Cant, became the first to reach the world's tallest building at the time. Due to the huge cost of importing steel, the towers were constructed on a cheaper radical design of super high strength reinforced concrete. High strength concrete is a material familiar to Asian contractors and twice as effective as steel in sway reduction, however, it makes the building twice as heavy on its foundation as a comparable steel building. Supported by 23 by 23 meter concrete cores, and an outer ring of widely spaced super columns, the towers use a sophisticated structural system that accommodates its slender profile and provides 560,000 square meters of column-free office space. Below the Twin Towers is Surya KLCC, a shopping mall, and Petronas Philharmonic Hall, the home of the Malaysian Philharmonic Orchestra. Notable Events On April 15, 1999, Felix Baumgartner set the world record for base jumping, since broken, by jumping off a window cleaning crane on the Petronas Towers. Thousands of people were evacuated on September 12, 2001 after a bomb threat the day after the September 11 attacks destroyed the World Trade Center Towers in New York City. Bomb disposal squads found no explosives in the towers, but they nevertheless evacuated the premises. Workers and shoppers were allowed to return three hours later, around noon. No one was hurt during the evacuation. On the evening of November 4, 2005, a fire broke out in the cinema complex of the Surya KLCC shopping center below the Petronas Towers, triggering panic among patrons. There were no reports of injuries. The buildings were largely empty, except the shopping mall, Surya KLCC, because of the late hour. The only people involved were moviegoers and some diners and restaurants. On the morning of September 1, 2009, French urban climber Alain Spider-Man Robert, using only his bare hands and feet and with no safety devices, scaled to the top of Tower 2 in just under two hours after two previous efforts had ended in arrest. In his first attempt on March 20, 1997, police arrested him at the 60th floor, 28 floors away from the summit. His second attempt, on March 20, 2007, exactly 10 years later, was also stopped on the same floor, though on the other tower.
Thank your tenants. Tower One is fully occupied by Petronas and a number of its subsidiaries and associate companies, while the office spaces in Tower Two are mostly available for lease to other companies. A number of companies have offices in Tower Two, including Sapora OMV Upstream, Sarawak, Inc., Huawei Technologies, Aveva, Al Jazeera English, Karigali Hess, Bloomberg, Boeing, IBM, Casa Non Nacional Berhad, McKinsey & Co., Wipro Limited, TCS, HCL Technologies, Crawler, Microsoft, The Agency, a modeling company, and Reuters. Its attractions include an art gallery, an underwater aquarium, and also a science center. Boasting approximately 300 stores, Surya KLCC is touted as one of the largest shopping malls in Malaysia. Visitors recommend allocating at least an hour to complete a tour of KL Tower. While the night views are equally incredible, the best time to visit the tower is in the morning for clear views of the city, a nice breeze, and lesser crowds. The best time to visit is late evening, between 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. During this time, you can witness a fountain and light show. Every night from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m., you can also experience a symphony and light show at Lake Symphony in KLCC. Another good reason to visit the Petronas Twin Towers at night is that you can watch the Lake Symphony in KLCC Park. Every night at 8 p.m., 9 p.m. and 10 p.m. you can see the light and symphony show, which is basically the water in the lake doing amazing things to colorful lights and music. It's a great activity and it's free, 